hi, what's up, it's Freeze here and I'm back again with a new video for you guys. Recently there was an interview between the Gothic 1 remake producer Reinhard Paulus and Tech Raider. According to the interview the development is inside plan time window but there is still much to do. A big focus in the development goes into the KI and how the NPCs make the world not only as alive as in the original but they want to go even further this time to deliver an even better simulation of the world. The old camp is almost finished and even a screenshot of it has been published by Alchemia. Here you can see it and the other camps are also making a good pro progress. Currently they are working around 40 people on the project and even a few gothic models from the scene were integrated into the development. The team size is similar to the original gothic 1 development team back then in 2001. Uh, now coming to one of the most important topics of the interview, we will have a look at uh, on what has been said about the combat system in the new remake. According to Mr. Paulus, the, cro the progress will stay uh, similar to the original. We will have talent points we earn with, uh, with our level ups like before and we can invest them at certain trainers as before, but they want to expand and change a few things. As an example, certain uh, spells will be bound to one of the three gods, which we didn't have before, like uh, Enos, Adanos and Belia. They will get uh, pointed out as a kind of special, if I understand that right, and they will only be available to learn at certain areas and places we can, where we can uh, then acquire and learn those spells. On top of that, there will be spells we as a player need to channel for a certain time, like uh, like casting it really for a few seconds, like we we know it from uh, from other games. So we will definitely see uh, see a few changes in the combat system, which uh, which actually sounds uh, refreshing when taking in perspective that the combat was one of the biggest flaws the original title uh, title had. Um, the range fight with both and crossbows won't change a lot. Uh, and aren't expected to be very spectacular. Uh, the devs described it similar to Gothic 3. You aim and shoot with the, with the crosshair. The interview also asked about totally new weapons and spells if they will get implemented, but Mr. Paulus didn't want to tell anything about that. What uh, for me sounds like a yes, but um, it looks like we need to wait a little more to get uh, real information about that. Another point which will receive a rework and rework at least in the presentation is the lock picking. While the system itself will stay very similar to the original, like uh, said before, the presentation. So how it looks and um, how we do it actually will uh, will look different. Also, on a very interesting part of the interview was when the interviewer asked if old places and areas which didn't uh, which didn't made it to the final release of Gothic One will be finished and implemented now into the remake. Because uh, the answers here were was that uh, this is definitely one of the team's goals while developing the remake. It is also expected that the world scaling will be slightly bigger than before. So they will fill those bigger spaces and slots will be, which will open with um, the content which couldn't be implemented in the into the original title. So that will be very exciting to see. The next question what about, was about the puzzles and riddles, for example, in the old uh, Orc Temple we get at, at the end of the game. Uh, it has been said that some of the puzzles and mechanics were actually outdated and they did rework a lot of those completely, so we can be glad we have to actually find our ways out again when we enter those dungeons and riddles and where, where they're placed. The last and also very important topic of the interview was all around the guilds and factions we can join. Those will mostly stay as before, but some plot holes and teasers uh, will get filled now and some areas that didn't make or some quests and information that didn't make much sense uh, back then will also get a, get a rework. And also the armors of like NPCs uh, will variate a little. Like as an, uh, as an example, the shoulder pads, uh, they will be placed in different slots uh, on different uh, NPCs and other small details like that. At the end of the interview they spoke about KI systems and if that uh, will play a role in the new remake, but those systems are currently only used for creating faces of NPCs and such. And yeah, they're not considered very further right now. And that was pretty much it for the interview. I just recapped it for you guys, as far as I know. They will also publish the interview in a few days. If you want to see the original, you can also do that. And up from here, 
thank you everyone for listening and if you enjoyed the video please drop a like subscribe to the channel and we will see us next time peace